Hi everyone, I just wanted to give you a quick update on some of the FPV work I've been doing recently. What you see here is my 5.8 GHz FPV monitor that I have been using to fly my FPV quadcopter. Now the idea behind this monitor is essentially just an evolution of my $160 FPV setup and I wanted to make something that would be more compact, more minimalistic, and just easier to carry around and use when you're at the field. You don't have to carry any tripods or any sort of awkward mounts or boxes or anything like that. It's very compact. You can slip it into a bag and it makes it really easy to just do quick FPV without any of the bells or whistles. So, uh, in this video I'm going to give you a brief overview of the specifications of this monitor and I'll also be going into a few details about how I integrated the receiver into the monitor. However, if you do want a more thorough build log with lots of pictures and documentation, I do have one up on my website. So you can head over there if you'd like to and check out uh, the pictures and maybe if you are interested in building one, uh, my uh, tutorial will help you uh, and guide you along the process of integrating a receiver into this monitor. Okay, so just to begin, uh, this is a 7-inch higher monitor. I picked it up for $40. They usually sell anywhere between $40 to $70. You just have to be smart about where you buy and uh, when, when you buy it. So if, you, if you're really good about it, you can get it for a lot cheaper. But um, I got it for $40, which is a pretty good deal. And it, it's good in considering that it comes with some specifications that are lacking in other uh, monitors out on the market. Uh, for starters, it comes with a speaker grill right up here at the front, so if you're interested in getting audio from your FPV setup, you can use these speakers right there. On the side here, it comes with AV outputs, which you can use to plug in goggles if you uh, have a friend who maybe wants to watch what you're doing, or vice versa, you want to use the goggles and your friend wants to watch the screen. It works really well that way. Down here, there's a headphone uh, output, so you can attach headphones if you don't want to listen, it, listen to the uh, FPV audio over the speakers. Up here is the coaxial output for the 5.8 GHz receiver, which I'll be discussing later on in the video. On the back here, there is a built-in 2-cell, 2200 mAh uh, lithium polymer battery. And this battery is actually fairly high capacity. Uh, it lasts me about an hour and 45 minutes with continuous use, both powering the screen and the built-in 5.8 GHz receiver. So an hour and 45 minutes, I think, is a pretty fair amount of time. and I can go through about 10 FPV flights before I have to charge this guy up again. So it's a big bonus to have a large capacity battery like this so you don't have to worry about it in the long term. On the back side there also is a uh, kickstand here which can be used for convenience when you're leaving it on the table. And on the bottom down here there is a hole for a tripod bolt. Although this hole is a quarter inch in diameter, the th uh, thread pitch inside does not match uh, the generic tripod bolt. So in my test, I was able to mount it onto a tripod, but because the pitch isn't an exact match, the monitor isn't very securely attached to the tripod. So if you're hoping to mount it to a tripod, you might have to look into other options besides using this, maybe tapping the thread or mounting it some other way. Okay, so that is a quick overview of the monitor itself. Um, like I said, it cost me $40 uh, and I got it on eBay, so um, it's a pretty good deal considering what you get. Once I got the monitor, I ordered my 5.8 GHz receiver, and for that, I chose the RC305 5.8 GHz receiver, which is a very common receiver that a lot of people use. Uh, Hobby King sells it, Fox Tech sells it, lots of vendors on eBay sell it, and they're all generally around $30 after shipping. So I purchased mine from eBay, and it came to $30, and so that brought the grand total of this uh, monitor to $70. That's $40 for the screen and $30 for the receiver. Once I got the receiver, uh, installing it into the screen was a pretty straightforward process. All I had to do was uh, remove the screws along the back panel here, not too complicated, and the entire back panel just came off afterwards. Inside the TV, uh, there is a built-in TV tuner right here in the top left corner, and all I had to do was clip it out and desolder a few components so that it would come out from the PCB inside the screen. Once the TV tuner was out, I took my 5.8 GHz receiver, I took it outside of the metal case, so it was just the bare PCB, and I stuck it right where the TV tuner used to be. I lined it up as best I could so that the coaxial output of the 5.8 GHz receiver came out of the hole that the old TV tuner was using. And after that was done, I mounted the receiver to the PCB using double-sided tape. So once that was all mounted and lined up, I uh, used some wire and my soldering iron to solder some cables from the receiver to the power output of the monitor, and I also soldered the AV outputs of the receiver into the AV inputs of the monitor. 
And uh, it was pretty straightforward as far as finding those uh, locations on the PCB to where to solder to. Uh, that's also documented in my build blog, so you won't have to go hunting around the PCB uh, looking for those good locations. The uh, receiver is being powered with 7.5 volts, which, as I understand, is the minimum that is required to power the receiver. So although it does run warm, it's not running hot by any means. Uh, you'll be able to feel the heat behind here, but it won't be doing anything uh, too dramatic. The battery, like I said, will power both the screen and the receiver for an hour and 45 minutes, which is definitely a plus. Uh, it'll last a very long time and you'll get lots of use out of it. So, like I said, once that was all wired up, I just uh, screwed the case back on, put everything back together, and it was ready to go. So when I use this at the field now, uh, all I have to do is just take one of my antennas, screw it into the uh, coaxial input here, and then flip the on switch. So the uh, higher goes into a boot screen for a short moment here, and then I don't have anything transmitting right now, so it's going to show no signal. But uh, when there is a signal, it shows through strong and clear on the screen. The screen is very bright. Um, I've used it out in sunlight. It's very easy to use. The screen does not blue screen until you lose about 90% of your signal. So it's important to note, um, if you're flying through static, you'll, you'll go through about until you have about 10% of visible picture left and after that point it'll go into a black screen. So it's not a complete blue screen but it also doesn't hold static all the way till the very end. Just something important to note if you're planning on buying this monitor. I've never had an issue with it flying FPV on my quadcopter. Whenever they're static I just turn back around, change my orientation and it, it just brings the picture back. Never had a blue screen issue. So yeah, uh, that's just my 5.8 gigahertz FPV monitor. Thought I'd share it with you and uh, let you guys know. Um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please let me know. Leave a comment or contact me via my website. I'll do my best to respond quickly or uh, help you out if you have any questions. All right, thanks for watching.